welcome to this edition of The Rundown. La Jolla ISD hosts a Spring Literacy Tertulia on behalf of Zapata Elementary and Diaz Villarreal Elementary. All the La Jolla ISD students and their families got to enjoy different literacy activities like face painting, book characters, and more. We invited the whole district to join us today to come and get some free books, to go through all these activities that have to do with reading and writing and STEM. Our community is very happy to have their event close to their home because they don't have to travel that long. We do ask our parents to please help us to make sure that they read at least half an hour on a daily basis. The Spring Literacy Tertulia is the perfect opportunity to bring the community together in one place to promote reading. All the La Jolla ISD students receive free books to enjoy at home. Anytime that we come together to uh, promote literacy, I think it's a great event. Today is an example of that. Uh, the fact that parents are here and children are here, I think we've done a great job of promoting literacy and this activity is one of those. So a very special thank you to everyone who worked to put it together because I know it takes people working together. This gathering got to motivate parents to read at home to their children and encourage literacy with their families, neighbors, and the community as a whole. Congratulations La Jolla Palm View High School teacher John Grassi, who was named as the finalist for the 2018 HEB Excellence in Education Award, highlighting him as one of the best educators in Texas. HEB representatives made a surprise visit to his classroom to present him with a $1,000 check for himself and a $1,000 for his school. As the finalist in the Rising Star Secondary category, Grassi has the opportunity to compete at the state level against four others in his category for a cash prize of $5,000 for himself and $5,000 for his school. It's such a shock. I'm st I still have to process this right now. Like right now, I'm still kind of numb feeling from it. I probably when I'm by myself, I'm gonna probably just ah, <laughs> collapse, you know? To be honest with you, it is one of the great honors of my career. And I hope that someday my kids can feel as overwhelmed and, and uh, with their own efforts as I feel today. And it's just something that I wish that I could share with every single person here. <laughs> The Academies of La Jolla ISD host a career fair for the Academy students. Professionals from our community got to present to students about a specific careers such as business administration, culinary arts, and fine arts, which our career students can start exploring in high school and continue once they graduate high school and college. This morning we're going around exploring different career pathways uh, around the city of La Jolla that are local to us and some of the questions we're asking these businesses are like what education you need, um, what's the specific pathway to get into the specific education you want to go to and advice that they can give us that will help further us in the workforce later on. They have to be exposed to different careers and the academies are very career oriented. The more exposure that they have, the more that they have that guidance in picking their pathway and not wasting their time when they graduate high school. Uh, we're not always sure of what we want to do at this age and it's good that we're being exposed to all this because we have an opportunity to see what there is and all that. A big thank you to the professionals for taking the time to expose our students to different career opportunities. The La Jolla ISD Educational Excellence Foundation got to award several grants. Members and district administrators made a surprise visit to several schools for check presentations. The first visit at Garza Elementary to award three grants. The second stop at Palmview High School to surprise Ms. Elena Benoit with a check for $5,000. The grant is to purchase mini PCR. The third stop at Garcia Elementary to surprise Ms. Andrea Zapata with a grant for $4,400. Thank you, La Jolla ISD Foundation. A big thank you to the Educational Excellence Foundation for providing financial support for educational activities that enhances the district's mission. La Jolla ISD held the ribbon cutting ceremony for the brand new Sports and Learning Complex which will house a nanatorium, water park, tennis court, golf course, planetarium, and a learning center. The first of its kind from any school district in the region and in the state. We say we're the envy of the, of the valley. You know, we try to always put our students first. And if this is just an example of it, of, the, of our beautiful nanatorium, planetarium. And uh, it's a blessing to be part of a district that, that gives so much to our kids. I think the fact that La Jolla ISD uh, serves 93.8, uh, low socioeconomic students. I think that it makes the project really worthwhile 
because we're really trying to bring the opportunities and the experiences to them. The La Jolla ISD Sports and Learning Complex will offer multiple opportunities for the students and community members of La Jolla ISD. A big shout out to La Jolla Juarez Lincoln boys soccer team who will be competing in the regional tournament this weekend in San Antonio. Go Huskies! Thank you for joining us and if you would like to see more stories and behind the scenes, be sure to follow us on YouTube, Snapchat and Instagram. Till next time.